friends, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I just realized I said my name. I don't know when I stopped saying my name in the beginning, but in case you're new, hey, it's me, Megan. And I'm actually doing something somewhat exciting. So I am going to be using the van, my transportation services. So I haven't vlogged using the van since last year. I did use the van last month and I actually did it all on my own. Like I'm so proud of myself. And that's actually something I did not sell on my channel last year is I did not go on the van by myself. I had my counselor come with me and that definitely helped a lot just because I get like nervous and like live in anxiety and it's just like a lot for me sometimes and just like learning how to navigate like by myself and just like with my disabilities. You know, it can take a lot of practice. So this year, I guess I, you know what, it's about time I try to like do it on my own. And last month it went very well so today i'm gonna do it again and i'm actually you know making with my counselor today so that's where i'm going so i'm gonna say it hopefully it will go well today and i'll take you guys along um yeah i was hoping okay i was hoping i <laughs> could wear my new sandals um but i think it's gonna like thunderstorm in the afternoon so i probably still need to wear my new sandals just in case if it rains, I don't know. <laughs> but actually, I did wear my purple sandals like the other week, and I'll share that update with you later of how that went. It is now like 12.40, the van comes in about like 20 minutes, and yeah, so I decided I'm not gonna be wearing my sandals. I'm just wearing my slip on shoes. I know, I wish I could, but I just don't wanna take that risk. But, yeah, all ready to go. I put the headband on. I just, like, felt like it today. I don't know why, but. Also, I thought before I leave, I would show you the bag I bring in. So, it's just this crossbody bag that I got at Target, I believe. And, honestly, it's the perfect size. And crossbody bags are the easiest for me because I can just put it on like that. And my hands are free. <laughs> that is so important. I'm back and it went overall very well. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting better the more time I use the van. And I just have to <laughs> say a mini story, story time that is both awkward but so hilarious at the same time. And like the chance of this happening is like, like literally like, <laughs> Of course it would happen. So like coming down, um, my driver like let me out and was like, okay, I'm gonna park here, I'll call him. you're like done. <laughs> um, so I came out of the building and I swear, like I'm not making this up. <laughs> Another van, like the same exact van because the transportation services, they have like multiple different vans. Um, anyway, the exact van. <laughs> Same thing. Came, like it started driving, and it seems like it was like stopping for me to like get into the van. Um, <laughs> and I was like so confused because I saw my van and my driver like waiting for me. And I was like, okay, like <laughs> that's the van I'm getting into. <laughs> He's waiting for me. But this van stopped in such a way that it almost was like, it was waiting for me, but I was like, no, it's waiting for someone else. But like, it was like so confusing. So like, I had to go past the van anyway to get to my van that I was going to get into. I like go up, like not go, I didn't go up to the van, but like I went past the van, but then the, like the, like the person like opened the doors and was like, like started talking to me. It was like, okay, where are you going? I was like, um, to my house <laughs> and then the person was like okay like i think you have the wrong van i'm just like yeah <laughs> honestly it was like like this driver like was confusing me so much because it was like okay um and then i get like kept walking to my van and then my driver was like oh my god 
<laughs> what's the chances of that because my driver saw the whole thing it was so beyond <laughs> funny and awkward but then what confused me so much is i swear after the driver talked to me that other van the van like drove off so it was like the van wasn't waiting for anyone they only stopped because of me i was like okay so like why did you confuse me like that but like <laughs> yes i almost i guess went into <laughs> got it onto the wrong van so <laughs> that's how it went but overall like i'm getting better and better the more times i use it and yeah it was good <laughs> oh also <laughs> it hasn't started ringing so i could have very easily worn my sandals my new ones but um yeah oh well i will figure out a time when i can wear them but <laughs> i don't know if saturday will be the gay because last time i look it's gone thunder so i'm all gay but you know i will i will find a time to wear my new sandals now that i'm back there's only one thing to do eat some guac and chips one of my favorite snacks. I'm here to a park that it has officially started thundering, but I don't think it has started to rain. But you know, it's, uh, it's about to rain <laughs> at any second. But yeah, layer up gig, weather up gig. I could so be a weather person, whatever you call, call them. Love this angle for me. <laughs> but minutes later and it has officially started raining so well the upper gig number two okay i don't know how well you can see this but yeah it is raining and i guess i will lightning so yeah i think i just need to like go down sales at this point but oh my god wow wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up it's gonna be a good day. Sky. Sky. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Are they mine? Oh, you're so cute. I'm wearing pink, and that means there's only one thing to do today. Go see Bobby's in the movie theater, y'all. I'm so excited, honestly, if you ask me. Just like a couple weeks ago, if I was going to see this movie, I would probably like say no. But so many people have said the movie is amazing. And I watched the trailer and I convinced my mom that we should go watch, see it. So, yep, that's what we're doing today. And today is a perfect day to do it. So, yeah, I of course need to wear like the one pink sock I own. What I want to talk about is like Bobby, like growing up and everything like that. So... I did have, I think I did have a couple bobbies. I definitely had like a few girls, like definitely a Hannah Montana doll, at least one of them. <laughs> um, and then I had like blacks and everything like that. But in terms of playing with girls, I didn't really like actually play with them. I just like to like collect them. And then I actually had like the mountain girl girl and a twin girl actually first. But yeah, in terms of Bobby, that wasn't like a big part of my childhood. I don't know. Speaking of my twin girl, I believe my twin girl, like they made it in such a way that like my twin had like a weak right hand just like me which i remember at the time i was like what is going on with my twin doll um and i'm like oh i don't know if it actually was so that it was meant to be like that to represent you know me and my weak arm so we are about to head off to the movies and me with my mom Coming um, to Barbie. Yeah. The movie. Yep. And um, Megan's what? all in pink. And y'all not. <laughs> I'm in protest. Mom, so what do you think? Of the, when I first heard that a Barbie movie was coming out, you I thought like, that's going to be terrible. <laughs> but the reviews are good. Yep, so. and I saw people, some people say that um, it has a good message. It's not like. So. So, we'll see. So, and I think it's, it's worth going to check yeah, out. Yeah, and 
Will Ferrell is in it, kind of. <laughs> he has done some really terrible movies. What? Mom, he's one of my As favorites. well as some really good movies. But he's funny, I think, sometimes. He's definitely Well, yeah, funny. come on. What happens is he'll, because people like him and he's a well-known actor, they'll put him in movies, too, and then you think they're good, <laughs> and they end up being awful. Well, this movie should be good. We'll update you um, after. <laughs> We're here. We're back from the movie, and it was awesome, don't you think, Mom? It was good. It was good. It was um, two hour, almost two hours, but it went by fast, so that's always yeah. a good sign. And it was, it has, it was, it had a lot of diversity. The Barbies, because I haven't had. <laughs> I haven't seen Bobby's in forever, so. There was president, um, astronauts, Supreme Court judges, doctors. And there was one Bobby in a wheelchair. There's a Barbie in a wheelchair. So with a disability, that's awesome. Yes. And then. In Barbie land, um, it was more of an ideal world. Yeah, and women were in charge and they could be anything and then the real world was ken went with barbie into the real world okay we are giving spoilers but okay <laughs> so <don't> yeah <laughs> but yeah they went into the real world because strange things happening to barbie but yeah we won't give away oh. the movie yeah we won't give any more else away but what would you rate also i did like will Ferrell part in the movie. He's always funny. I know. He was... Uh, Although he wasn't that nice. What do you mean? He wasn't that bad. I... He, yeah, well, yeah, he was trying to get Bobby, like... He um, just tried to yeah. put her in a box. Yeah, put but, her in the box. But what would you rate the movie out of five stars? I would give it a seven or an eight. Oh, five. Oh, out of ten. <laughs> oh, I, I, oh, out of five? <laughs> three. You must really like <laughs> I think you would only give it a three? Three and a half or a four? I would give it at least a four. But I, why would you give it a flat five? Um, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't the best movie ever. So five would be like yeah, the very best did, movie I've ever seen. It, uh, no, uh, five is an amazing movie. Okay. It's not the best movie ever. A anyway. <laughs> the best movie ever would be what you said first. Eight out. <laughs> but mom, it gave support. It gave your expectations was like it would be Bobby, like the Bobby, the original Bobby. But it's, the diversity has definitely it. It had a good message. It did have a really good message. I liked the message a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend seeing it. I feel like everyone and their dog is talking about Ken. So. And the theater was busy. Oh, it was pretty yes, full. I, yeah, we were not, well, I was nervous that maybe it would be so loud, but it's been a week since it's been out. So we were fine, but it was pretty busy. The most busy. In yeah, a while. in a long time. Yeah, very yeah. popular. Is <laughs> you have anything else? That's all. That's all. Watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! It has been a busy day. I swear, I have sent like twenty billion emails, and I have been like preparing for my trio sessions and just like a bunch of work stuff and. Yeah, and just like other things that I'm just like, oh, I'm like, <laughs> it is like, I actually have no idea what time it is. I do have a two-year session in a few hours though. And yeah, I'm just like, at this point, I'm just like, I need a layup break. <laughs> so I decided why not talk to you? <laughs> um, So yeah, I may edit a little bit of this video 
Or I may just like take a break from looking at a swing because <laughs> I think that would be good as well. I don't know. But yeah, also I want you to talk a little bit more about the Barbie movie. So it's just like so interesting to me because when I was a kid, even though, like I said, like Barbie wasn't like, like it, I can like play a lot with Barbies. It sure was one of those things where when I was a kid, Bobbies, like, they were known to, there was only, like, one Bobby, you know what I mean? There was only, like, Bobby only looked one second way, and that was it. There was no diversity, and it just makes me so happy to know that there is so much more diversity in Bobbies. And honestly, I had no idea about, about that since, you know, I am 25, so, like, I haven't played with, with dolls in years. <laughs> But, yeah, I had no idea. But, so that's why I'm, like, so happy I saw the movie. I even, like, took, like, a little bit of time to, like, get stars, like, different types of bodies. And there was so many and just, like, so many versions of, like, disability and just, like, all sorts of kinds of bodies. And it just, it makes me happy. In a way, I'm just like, oh. I wish they had this when I was a kid because it would have just been so cool and just so awesome. But you know, it's better late than never. <laughs> oh, and while I'm here, I thought I would give you a sandals update. If you watched a few videos ago, I got some new sandals and I have worn one pair out. I haven't worn my black pair yet that I got yet because <laughs> It seems like every time I go out, it, like, is rainy and it's, like, a bad day. So, <laughs> that's why I have it. But, a few weeks ago, I had a doctor's appointment and I ended up wearing my copper sandals. And it was so interesting, actually, because I wore them because, I don't know, I wanted to test them out. I knew the black ones wouldn't be good because I would have to take, like, my shoes off. And, obviously... <laughs> Well, maybe not obviously, but putting my proper sandals on takes a lot less time than putting my black ones on. So, I decided to wear my proper sandals. But I was so worried about whether, like, how I would be able to walk. And specifically, like, walking up the stairs because, or, like, even down, walking up, walking down the stairs, because that is, like, the real test. If I can wear shoes, like, if I can walk in shoes up and down the stairs and they don't come off my feet, that means they are good shoes for me. So, I was totally preparing myself, like, I'm going to be walking, like, so slow, or, like, I won't be able to walk up the stairs with these shoes, but I, when I tell you, I walk up a few flights of stairs, I think it was, like, maybe three flights of stairs, I mean, there was an elevator there, so honestly, like, I low-key, like, wanted to use the elevator, because I was, like, kind of scared, <laughs> but I'm so glad that I try it, because when I tell you, the sandals did not come off my feet. Well, specifically, guess my right foot. <laughs> it did not come off. My sandal did not come off my right foot. I, I mean it. It did not come off my right foot. Like, I was walking up the stairs just fine. And it was the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> I just couldn't, like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, I was not expecting it. Because I totally got my purple shoes or uh, sandals specifically to for around the house i didn't really get them to go out but like the fact that i can walk up and down the stairs is just like so amazing to me like that means that i can wear those shoes out more and yeah it just makes me so happy i <laughs> i honestly so i can't believe it um, because my last pair of sandals that were pretty similar to them, but they were made differently. I, I want to believe that maybe that is the reason, like, I didn't wear those sandals that much out, because I, it was harder for me to walk up and down the stairs. Um, but for some reason, these sandals, even though they're the same, like, design, I'm able to do it so that is amazing and yeah I'm so looking forward to the day where I can finally wear my black 
pair of sandals out um hopefully soon <laughs> Um, when I do, I can give you an update on those sandals as well, but I thought I would just give you a late update on my proper sandals because those were the ones that I was a little more iffy on. It is now Thursday, August 3rd, and today is not just another Thursday, it's not just another day exactly a very special day to me, and I will explain why. So, it all shorts with the shark I'm wearing. So the shark says way back about camp and back in 2013. So a decade ago, 10 years ago, today was the first time I ever met my favorite basketball player, Ray Allen. And if you do not know who he is, um, what are you doing? But yeah, he was on uh, was he is still will ever be my favorite basketball player like my favorite person like he's just he means so much to me and back in 2013 or like 2012 i would say i wanted to meet ray allen so bad and actually i made a story time of how I met Ray for the first time, so I won't like go into all the details. So if you want to know more about it, I'll put a card up or something. But yeah, so back in 2012, long story short, like I wanted so bad to meet him, and I was going to have a talk to meet him. I I just like put it into the universe and was like, I'm gonna find a way to meet Ray Allen. Like back then. <laughs> I would look up news about Ray Allen all the time because he's just like my favorite person, okay? Um, and one day I saw, oh my goodness, Ray Allen is having a backwork camp. But at that point, well actually when I first saw that, I got so happy, but then I got sad because I realized, oh, it's too late to like sign up, so I'm gonna have to like connect you. So that was in 2012, so that makes sense that you know, the first camp I went to was 2013. And the camp was in Connecticut, which honestly, before I even knew that, I was like, I would go anywhere to see Bay Allen. But the fact that it was in Connecticut did help a lot because, you know, I don't live that far away from Connecticut. But yeah, so that's basically like, how I was able to make Ray because Ray had a basketball camp. It was just so special, like every time around the beginning of August because that was when he had his camps. And specifically this year, because it's been a get gig, exactly 10 years since I met, met Ray. And actually August 4th, when this video goes live, is when I got my first picture with Ray Allen, just me and him. And oh my God, just thinking of Rock it makes me so happy. But I have to show you the picture and just like everything. I have everything in my old room. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go to my old room. Are you ready to see the picture? This is me and Ray. Oh my goodness. Do you see my smile? I honestly think like, I couldn't have had a bigger smile on my face. I was so happy. And then, yeah, I got a signed ball. And that number 34, I now have tattoo on me. And it just means so much. I'm like Ray Allen holding my certificate. Yeah, camp camping of the gay 2013. And then, yep, the gigs are, okay, you can kind of see it, August third to the fourth. 2013 and then what's funny is like my parents are behind like Ray I think um oh uh, yeah behind Ray Ray just so tall that um couldn't see my parents I guess I will end this vlog here in my old room it's been a while since <laughs> I've been in my old room but you know I like to come back and you know this is where I have all my pickles you know with Ray and everything so it is so special, me and Ray. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications. Do all the things. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Have an amazing day.